welcome to this session. In this session, we will discuss a question which says that find the equation or equations of the plane or planes A part parallel to x axis such that the y intercept is equal to minus 4 and the z intercept is equal to 3. B part parallel to the plane 6x minus 9y plus 18z plus 20 is equal to 0 and 4 units from the origin. Now before starting the solution of this question, we should know some results. First is the equation of a plane which cuts off intercepts a, B and C respectively on the axis X, Y and Z is given as X over A plus Y over B plus Z over C is equal to 1. Secondly, the equation of any plane parallel to the given plane AX plus BY plus CZ plus D is equal to 0 is given as AX plus BY plus CZ plus k is equal to 0, where k is any arbitrary constant. And next, the length of the perpendicular from the point P whose coordinates are x1, y1, z1 to the plane ax plus by plus cz plus d is equal to 0 is given as mod of ax1 plus by1 plus cz1 plus d all upon square root of a square plus b square plus c square. Now these results will work out as a key idea for solving out this question. And now we will start with the solution. Now we will start with the a part in which we have to find the equation of the plane parallel to x axis such that y intercept is equal to minus 4 and z intercept is equal to 3. So given the plane is parallel to x axis and y intercept is equal to minus 4 and z intercept is equal to 3. Since the plane is parallel to x axis, so its equation does not contain the x term. Now using this result which is given in the key idea that is equation of the plane in the intercept form here the required equation of the plane is x o 
over a but here this equation will not contain x term as the plane is parallel to x axis so it will be y over b that is the y intercept and y intercept here is minus 4 plus z over c that is the z intercept that is 3 is equal to 1 which further implies minus 3y plus 4z all of them square is equal to 1 which further implies minus 3y plus 4z is equal to 12 this further implies 3y minus 4z plus 12 is equal to 0 So this is the required equation of the plane, which is parallel to x-axis, such that the y-intercept is equal to minus four and z-intercept is equal to three. And now in the B part, we have to find the equation or equations of the planes parallel to the given plane and four units from the origin. Now, using this result, which is given in the key idea, now in the B part, the equation of any plane parallel to the plane 6x minus 8y plus 18z plus 20 is equal to zero. is given as 6x minus 8y plus 18z plus k is equal to 0 where k is any arbitrary constant let this be equation number 1 and now it is also given that the plane which is given by equation number 1 is four units from the origin o whose coordinates are 0 0 0 0 now we can determine the distance from any point to the plane by using this formula now here the point is the origin and equation number 1 is the equation of the plane and the distance from this point o to the plane which is given by equation number 1 is given as 4 units so by using the formula which is given in the key idea we have mod of ax1 that is 6 into 0 plus dy1 that is plus of minus 8 into 0 plus c z1 that is plus 18 into 0 plus k all upon square root of a square that is 6 square plus b square that is minus 8 square plus c square that is 18 square is equal to 4 units now this implies mod of k over square root of 6 square is 36 plus minus 8 square is 64 plus 18 square is 324 is equal to 4 which further implies mod of k over root 441 is equal to 4 which implies plus minus k over 21 is equal to 4 which further implies k is equal to plus minus 21 into 4 is 
Now this is the equation number 1. Now putting k is equal to plus minus 84 in 1 we get minus 8y plus 18z plus 84 is equal to 0 and 6x minus 8y plus 18z minus 84 is equal to 0 which are the required equations of the planes. That is, these are the required equations of the planes which are parallel to the given plane and four units from the origin. So this is the solution of the given question and that's all for this session. Hope you all have enjoyed the session.